Now, once you fetch the uh, issues, or I should say, once you fetch the uh, sprints, not issues, once you fetch sprints in your uh, in your board, maybe you want to start fetching the issues as well. But uh, when you are looking at a board, you have sprints, which is of course uh, uh, the one the ones that you might uh, uh, create, uh, like iterations. You may have sprints that are running. You may have sprints that are planned for future. But you also have, you also have a backlog. So I think it is important before we dive into the sprints, we should know how to take a look at or how to f retrieve all the issues in a backlog. So basically, what we are trying to do, we are using a Jira Software REST API, and we are trying to fetch as much as we can using nothing but REST API. Now, uh, the endpoint that you have to use is uh, this one, which is, uh, of course, the method is get. So we have to use the get method. And the endpoint is REST Agile 1.0 board, followed by board ID, which we know how to fetch. You can watch my video um, programmatically, of course. And then if you do slash backlog instead of slash sprint, it will actually give you uh, all these issues in the in the backlog. So let us do that. So if you look at this board, where the board ID is 14, because I am, uh, I'm just you know showing you this board. Uh, we have of course few sprints. Some of the some of those most of these sprints are running already, but uh, there is I believe one sprint which is not running, and uh, there is a backlog. And when you're looking at the backlog, uh, you basically so backlog is nothing but uh, your uh, your it could have all the issues, stories, or, or activities that you have planned to deliver, but you may not have yet uh, prioritized them or you may are still uh, in a process of uh, um, defining the rank, like which activity to be done first. So you, you, usually your scrum master along with product owner and along with, of course, your team members, they, they will uh, probably perform or they will do this backlog grooming. They will basically decide what, what all activities are there that needs to be done in future but uh, you will uh, worry about backlog from time to time because this is where all the new activities will come and from this particular bucket uh, you will of course start planning them and backlog is important of course <laughs> so let us uh, let us uh, use the endpoint to fetch all these issues so right now if you look here the first issue is uh, ios 2-8 then 18 then 19 and then in, then we have uh, some epics like uh, uh, forty, uh, like we have uh, not not really epics. These are stories. Sorry, so forty four, fifty one, fifty two. So we'll we'll do the same. Uh, we'll retrieve these issues using REST API and we'll try to match. So what I'll do, I'll uh, use a method, of course, which is get, and then I'll use the endpoint REST Agile one point zero board fourteen and then backlog. So if I run this, it will uh, give me hopefully the list of issues. And you can see all these issues here. Of course, you have a, a lot of information here, but we just want to match uh, the things like issue key, for example, because uh, that, that is what we are interested in understanding. So we have it's on top, it says total 29 issues. And uh, we have eight, we have 18, and then we have 19. Let us uh, go to the very bottom. And then we also have at the very bottom 54. And uh, 53. But if you if you go to the board, you don't have 53, 54. Basically, these are the subtask. So that is also a great thing. You can also take a look at the subtask. So if you open your 52 issue, you can see here that you have you may have subtasks. Like in in, in my case, I do have these two subtasks, which I can also retrieve using the REST API. And uh, when you're looking at a subtask, you can always see here that you may have a field called parent. Uh, which is not there for which may not be there which is usually not the case for a normal issue type for a normal issue type you will not have this but you will have this parent field for uh, not a field but this parent in the json uh, that will of course take you back to the parent which we know is uh, ios 52 so you can re retrieve this information using rest api and this can be really important as I mentioned uh, in uh, one of my previous uh, videos uh, where, where I discussed how to retrieve the sprints, fetching the information about the backlog can be useful because you may want to 
report on it. You may want to see this information somewhere else. You never know. Or maybe you're doing something interesting with Jira using REST API. So you, you always want to keep track of uh, the issues that you have in your backlog. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. You, I, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.